electric potential. So we have three goals for this session. We will define electric potential. We'll talk about the connection between electric potential and electric field. And we'll talk about the connection between electric potential and electric potential energy, which sound the same and are related, but are different things. So what's electric potential? Well, it's related to potential energy in the same way electric field is related to force. Both field and potential are measures of ways that uh, a charge or a mass influences the space around it. So here we have uh, electric field as the force per unit charge, and potential V is the potential energy U per unit charge. You can also say that the change in potential is the change in potential energy per unit charge. And again, our invention of potential and field gives us a way to visualize how a charged object or a set of objects affects the region around it, the space around it. Uh, you might hear, hear the uh, word voltage, and voltage is essentially a difference in electric potential, a potential difference. And that changes how charges flow in a way analogous to how pressure differences affect the flow of fluid. You want a fluid to flow? Make a pressure difference. You want charge to flow? Have a potential difference. Okay, so you can visualize electric potential by drawing what we call equipotentials, lines of constant potential, on a picture. And that is very similar to drawing contour lines on a map, such as this map of uh, Mount Rainier. What do the contour lines represent? Well, they are lines of constant height. Note that field lines are always perpendicular to potential lines. So the field points in the direction of fastest decrease of potential. Okay, so here's a picture of equipotentials in a uniform electric field. So we've got, uh, we could label these as plus 20 volts, plus 10 volts, etc but an equivalent unit is the joule per coulomb. In which direction is the electric field? Well, the electric field points in the direction of decreasing potential. You see the potential decreases downwards. This is a uniform downward directed electric field. And the strength of that field is given by basically the change in potential divided by the distance you need to change it with a minus sign. Okay. The minus sign is only telling you about direction. So it's in the direction of the fastest decrease of potential, the way you have to go to decrease the potential most quickly. OK, and again, the joule per coulomb is equivalent to the volt. OK, so potential difference can be far more important than potential. In a uniform electric field, we have the following. Delta V is delta U over Q. Uh, the change of potential energy is the negative of the work. So that's minus F delta R over times cos theta over Q. Uh, F, of course, is QE in this case, so you can boil this down to minus E delta R cosine theta. Okay, so that's a lot like saying the gravitational potential is uh, GH, minus GH. Okay, so theta is the angle between the field and the displacement, exactly right. So when you just need the magnitude, you can simplify that above and get delta V is ED, where D is a very special thing. It's the distance moved parallel to the field. What about gravitational potential difference? We didn't talk about that earlier, so here it is. Here's the equivalent thing. Change in gravitational potential is the change in potential energy over M. Of course, change in potential energy is MGH, so you divide that by M, you just get G times H. That's analogous to E times D. Okay, so if you have a point charge, then you get a very non-uniform potential. And note that the potential is defined to be zero when R is infinite. So here we have electric potential, a distance R from a point charge. Going to remind us a little bit about the E equation. E is KQ over R squared. But again, two big differences. Field is a vector. Potential is a scalar. Field has a 1 over r squared in it. Potential just has 1 over r. Okay, so here are some equipotential lines near some charge. You get the minus 4 volt line a little further out, the minus 6 volt closer, the next one would be minus 8, etc. Which direction is the electric field? Now, 
couple of ways to think about that. So let's see what you think. In which direction is the field? If that was your equipotential configuration, some unknown charge in the middle, what would you say is the direction of the field? All right. So which way is the field? Well, the field points in. The only way you can get a negative potential is that it comes from a negative charge. So negative charge contributes a negative amount to the potential. Positive charge contributes a positive amount. And here again, you can see that the field points in the direction of decreasing potential. OK, and you should also recognize that it's the pattern of equipotentials produced by an optic with a negative charge, just circles centered on the charge. And that electric field points, of course, toward a negative charge. And again, here's our equation. OK. So let's say we have a positive charge. Now we have a uniform field. OK, we got our two cookie sheets, our, two, our parallel plate capacitor here. If you go a distance r, what's the change in potential? Well, let's see. The charge goes from the minus 4 volt line to the plus 8 volt line, so that's a net change in potential of plus 12 volts. How would your answer change if the charge had been negative instead of positive? The answer wouldn't change. The answer would flip sign. What do you think? Well, for a negative charge, it really doesn't matter. Okay, we're talking about potential. If we were talking about potential energy, then it would matter. But potential, you don't even need the charge at all. You're just going from the minus 4 volt line to the plus 8 volt line. You've gone up by 12 volts. You don't need the charge. Okay, but again, the change in potential energy would flip sign if we flip this, the uh, sign on our charge. But potential is just, that just deals with whatever the parallel plate capacitor, how that was set up. Okay, so that is our introduction to electric potential.